shield that's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. We can't reach it with the shield there. Doesn't look like you can brute force it. Shield, maybe. Oh, <laughs> 
Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Sigil arrows may help us freeze the gears.
Like you'll have to get through the gate faster. Well done. It was not intentional. Oh, sure. My arrows can't go through walls, I'm afraid. Open the gate from there. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasury chamber? Aye, it does. It's Sigrun's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that lock. Ah! <laughs> 
Here sits Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Another one of Devalin's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Ah. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves, so he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the All Father found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me to collect my flaws and my regrets. Even when she has some of her own, makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. I didn't tell them to be here.
give him what for. The Alpha! Be back. I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <clears throat> something. It's stronger this time. Over here. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their room. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Kratos, ghost of Sparta, fame of Olympus, destroyer of fate, cruel striker, bringer of war. Weapon of the gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot. Certainly seems real enough. I'd hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems 
Thinks he was guarding that way outside. Rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot the smartest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. A phantom! The Norns have a phantom! Of course the Norns have a phantom! What do you want? This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you? Babbling. Oh, that looks 
is official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! Hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Just lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You sought favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a death! Until you turn off. I know, Seagram. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for me. An ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No. You all took the side of the power. Then you used it. Order, watch out. There's more of them. Even now. You see a violent god in me, and you can't help but aid him and call him brother. It's who you go back to! Who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did. Come get me, brother. The tree is getting tighter. Ugh. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Get him! Nothing! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus!
Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> That might not be her favorite subject. Hideaway. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There must, must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut, shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. 
exeunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was... Educational? <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how. You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. That's the wrong way up if you want to get out of here. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. 
None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? <laughs> I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Though, I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Whatever you need. Always a joy to work on these. And for the Valkyrie Queen? To your liking. Kratos? I'll disinfect my tools. I'll heat up the forge. Be safe! I'm here for you. If you change your mind...
Oh! <laughs> 